so uh, we actually moved from another uh, part of uh, Mandarin into this part of Mandarin. We lived there uh, over two years now. Uh, but we've been back and forth visiting our in-laws while they were still still with us uh, for years. So we were already familiar with the neighborhood and uh, loved it. Uh, my father-in-law loved to take walks around here. Very, very safe. sidewalks are arranged, there's really no curve. It's very easy for uh, somebody to go from the road to the sidewalk very, very rapidly. My main concern is if this was like the place next door to it, just some place that's selling chicken, uh, no problem, but people are going to be leaving here. Uh, I read the article by the manager of this um, uh, building. And he explicitly mentioned that he does not get most of uh, his revenue from food. That he's actually counting on hard alcoholic drinks to, to actually make up for what he would be doing and selling chicken wings and that sort of thing. So that tells me he has a motivation to actually make sure that people are drinking harder alcoholic drinks. Therefore, that really makes me doubly concerned that um, we're either going to have moderate uh, to excessive drinking. This place will be open until the early hours of the morning. There are houses, uh, wow, what is that, about 25 feet away from here. So uh, they have the immediate noise and uh, grunt of everything, uh, as well as just the overall uh, endangerment to families. I see a lot of beautiful um, families walking back and forth to uh, services at the synagogue, either to the one that is right adjoining this property or across the street. There's already been uh, a couple of fatalities crossing San Jose. And uh, with this additional factor, uh, that's one thing that I truly uh, am very concerned about. And uh, if you know that something's going to happen, you don't wave the red flag and try to alert people. Uh, everybody that has come to this place, even some of the city council, essentially said, we want to err on the side of caution. This does not look like a good idea. I believe uh, Matt Carlucci, and listening to the meeting, even said when they originally zoned this uh, and permitted uh, alcohol and beer, that was not correct. But nobody wants to correct the mistake. They want to push forward. So um, going on with, a, with something that was a mistake to begin with is not a good idea. And uh, everybody in this neighborhood are, are as always, uh, pulling together, um, and even financially, to chip in for representation. When, in my opinion, what should have been done is that the people that were elected to represent us, that's their job. Why are we supposed to spend that much time, money, energy to do something that is their job as our representatives? This is plainly wrong. There is nothing to justify. Nobody knocked on their door next door or any of these people and said, is it okay for us to serve alcohol so close to your purposes? Like I mentioned before, as we said informally, had that been a public school, daycare center, or anything else, immediately people would have reacted and, and this, this whole thing would have gone nowhere. It's not so much the, the business that's a concern for you, it's, it's the location. It's having it right here, that's, that's the problem. It's the location and uh, the beverages that they're serving. You know, uh, this was a restaurant for me, uh, no big problem. They're serving alcoholic beverages. Noise uh, factor, and the very fact that you know, by law, unless somebody is slinking around it, 
they, they should not be that close to a synagogue at all or a church or anything else. There's no excuse to do it. Uh, I know if most homeowners uh, try to find a way around some zoning regulation in their house, uh, the honest would be on me to prove that, that there's, there's no danger. I'm not gonna cause excessive noise to my neighbors. Why was not the honest on them to show how safe they're going to be? I, I've never heard that from them. Anything else that you want to add that you did not get to say? Um, I've said a lot, but uh, I would just like to um, say how much I appreciate all of the neighbors of this particular neighborhood. Uh, met a lot of uh, really nice people. When uh, I walk, I often see families uh, going to the services. It's uh, one of these really beautiful things to see everybody. Some people are walking several miles down this road to, to go to their services, uh, young, old, and so forth. And so um, my concern is for their safety. There are a lot of other concerns like noise and everything, but those things are secondary in comparison to endangerment to human life. Um, one thing that probably nobody's done a study on, uh, seriously, but uh, if this is like a target zero, uh, how close in vicinity is it from somebody who leaves who's intoxicated to where they have an incident? Uh, how far is that? How far away does that occur? Uh, better to err and say, let's not go there. Let's not create that situation to begin with. Isn't that the whole reason why we have people to represent us, to assure our safety? Yes. And so I implore uh, uh, them in their decisions and in their future decisions to not consider first the owner of a business, but the people who live in the area first. Because those are your constituents. They're the ones that have put you in office, and they're the ones that are... Uh, the ones that you have been sworn to uh, protect and only to only do it by the laws. And we're just saying by what was already in place, there was no reason to do that. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, the video that you're going to be on, you put that on, on Facebook or uh, they were on? I, I know, I've got it on YouTube. I put YouTube? it there. Okay. We might be able to use how long is the total video? Uh, the whole video is like nine minutes, but okay. you can take. So we any part to, uh, of it. Like speed it up or something too. We could probably just kind of show the walk from point A to point B, and you know. And in my, in my humble opinion, and that's and this is exactly what I did. I just went to that wall and said, on the other side of this wall, here's the synagogue, here's the business. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There, it's 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 not light years away. It is close, it is extremely close, and you can walk down a little bit further and right. there's a church. So it's very obvious, and I've always felt that if somebody just came out here, the obviousness of, of it speaks for itself instead of having to, let's get out a map, let's get out a blueprint, let's let's measure uh, with a scale. No, just, just walk, it's, well, it's extremely obvious. If I remember right, there's a daycare connected to well, maybe there I, is, I, I thought so. Yeah, yeah. I kind of remember that from the last. So you, yeah. you know, even more so. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I, I you appreciate your much. time. Do you know what I can search to find the the video? Um. um or if you had, um, I guess I'll stop it. You can. Uh, so I don't, do I just push the red button again? Yeah.